So, want to hear a funny story? About a year ago, I was at Home Goods and they had these awesome containers. It may have been in a vlog. They're just glass jars. I went ahead and I got them. I thought these would be fantastic to do terrariums in. And I didn't get them planted up. I wanted to do some stuff for the channel. Didn't work out because I couldn't find any terrarium plants. This year, I have just a plethora of wonderful terrarium plants. So I thought, okay, it's time to get going. Let's do this Terrarium Tuesday thing. First video is on a Thursday. So prior went to this one. If you've seen that video, you probably know what I'm getting at. But I managed to go an entire year. There's three of these. Each one looks a little bit different. And as I'm planting it up, I broke it. Like, really? Seriously? Fine, whatever. Stuff happens. Not the end of the world, but I was like, I'm trying to film a video. I need to get a video out. And then, and then that's going to happen? Come on now. And I was being so careful with those rocks, but these are... I learned when cleaning these up for the, that video that this is these are really cheap. It's a really porous glass. I was scrubbing and everything, trying to get them to just look spotless. And it was like, nah, we're dirty. We gonna stay dirty. No matter how much you scrub us, we're gonna have spots. That's what every single one of these was like. I used vinegar. I did everything. Like literally, like an hour and a half, just trying to get them spotless. Wasn't happening. It's fine. It was like twelve ninety nine, maybe fourteen ninety nine. So. That's all right. I mostly just wanted to put them up with plants, put them up. I wanted to film with plants. You get it. Gardening stuff. That's what I wanted to have going for it. And then, and then that happened. So I need to go to Home Goods and get this video edited. <laughs> that video is going to be out late tonight. Oops. Oh, hey, what's up, garden friends? <laughs> Jeff, your tropical plant party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. I know sound flustered, but that's just you know, multitasking. That's just life. It's okay. Hey, Colby. What you doing? You hungry? Oh, hi, Pumpkin. What? You get jealous I said hi to the tortoise and not you? Pumpkin. What you doing? What are you doing? I know. I'm about to be attacked by the tortoise. I'm aware. No oh, bath time? Really? Hey. What are you doing? You have food. You don't eat sandals. This is why Colby's not going to be able to be a free-ranging tortoise for too much longer. He's getting big enough. It's not going to work out. Going to have to build you a pen somewhere. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Home goods. I had to put on pants. We can go now. I think Colby's good. I don't... I guess wasn't in the mood for the tortoise and the straw. Where are you going, bite? Where are you going? Hey, Tobes. All right. Everybody's here. Not really, but a bunch of them. How many times have I said I was going to leave? And I still haven't. <laughs> oh, off to a good start never get a parking spot this actually that's not true i feel like i always get a really good parking spot nothing wrong with being excited about the little things hey, i am always so terrified in these aisles it's so so many things to break also i got the very last one all the others have like rhinestones on top of them which is cute but not 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 what i want I love coming home to her so much, Pumpkin. You so cute. You being a good girl, you're using the towel chair. That's why the towel's there. Your eye looks a little bit funny from here. You okay? You all right? Yeah, you're okay. Um, yeah, home goods happened. Yeah, I got my replacement. What? What is this called? That was an issue when I was filming that video. I was like, it's a jar? I'm gonna call it a jar. Whatever it's called. You get what I'm saying? So I got that. And then um, that, well, there's two more. Because I already had three of these I needed to do, so why not turn it into five, right? Because remember, this one broke, so it's a replacement, so two. I really hope you can't hear what's happening in the background. Those two, my parrots, they've been going at it like crazy. I also, I got an elephant and a bull. It's not, see, this is what I'm saying. It's the problem with home goods is there's too many shiny and colorful things and the prices are too good and then uh, these things happen i would say it was a poor choice but it's not because it's beautiful okay so now that i have my replacement vase i've gone ahead and basically done what i did over here over here except i decided to opt out of trying to have the pretty gravel on the side i have a different one that's straight it doesn't have any slopes in it I think that would be a better candidate for trying to hide the sides. I just, I don't want to break another one. Y'all were just with me at Home Goods. You saw it. They don't, I, they didn't have any more of these. So I got the last one. Probably not forever, but I don't want to have to keep going and getting more. I could just be more careful. I know, but I don't really feel like it. I just kind of wanted to get this planted up. So I went charcoal, pumice, 
screen charcoal and now I have soil. Soil over here that is soaking up some water. I think I maybe put too much water in there, but that's all right. I can squeeze it out in my hands as I put it in there. That's what, I'll, what I'm actually supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> that's the fun thing about vlogging. Yeah, see that? That's a bit much as far as the sogginess is concerned, but it's okay. It'll do. I'm just going to keep on doing that till I have a layer that's, I don't know, two inches, two or three inches. Lightly patting that down as I go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to need to have the lid on this anytime soon. I'm going to have to let that dry out. You know, that's the problem with any type of peat or cocoa based mix is you really need to slowly add your water to it to get it to absorb properly. And I kind of, I was rushing things, so I went very heavy with the waters. I did manage to get the majority of the water out, like, it's so it's not soggy, it's just moist. You know, because you need to be able to put the plants in here, water them in, and still have some space for drainage. This area right here, I don't really ever want the water going above this pumice layer, because then this will be saturated and gross, right? And I know I was going to do this syngonium with this pepperoni and this asparagus fern, but I'm actually thinking I would like to use one of my super dwarf pixies, which are all, they're all hiding back here. They're tucked away behind everything, but I have four of them and I'd like to get them planted up because they would do much better in a terrarium. And uh, there's something else I want to do with the syngonium. I think the variety of this one might be neon. But it wasn't labeled, and if they're not labeled, I don't, you know how it is over here. I don't like to say what something is if it doesn't have an exact name, because there are multiple pink syngoniums. I also need to be very careful. I just stuck my finger in the glass hole. That's not safe. So the little nubs in there are on the base of the asparagus fern. It's runners. I love that. I love plants with really big, cool roots on them. That looks neat. I'm going to gently work this in back here into the background. The asparagus fern will get large for this terrarium. And you can see I may have to add a little bit more soil. That's okay. I'd rather have to add a little bit more than take a little bit out because when you take it out, it's more messy. It gets, you get more mess on the sides. Those are going to be cleaned up anyway. So I suppose that doesn't really matter. It's just, I don't know, that's the logic in my head. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it turns out that the little ripple peperomia did not much going on there as far as roots are concerned. I would normally be really annoyed by something like that, but I guess that that kind of works out to my advantage a little bit here since that's just a smaller hole I have to make for it. I'm not going to work that one down. What's left of those roots is going to be delicate, so... I don't want to be moving them around and squishing them and exposing them to chaos. Why did I take my gloves off? Oh, because I had to use the camera. So I wear the gloves so that I don't get my camera dirty, but then I have to take them off anyways if I want to adjust something on the camera. Then I forget to put them back on. It's just, it's a whole thing. Life's a mess over here. And it would appear these syngoniums really weren't rooted into their pots either. That's just a plug. I feathered it out a little bit so that it wouldn't be root wrapped and have issues, but that, oh, that's a big pet peeve of mine. People just throwing things from their plugs into their nursery containers and selling them and not giving them the appropriate amount of time to root out. I'm not paying for plants that aren't rooted out. You can get plats of, plats? You can buy flats of plugs for usually pretty reasonable costs and not what you pay for these, you know, other ones. So I have some rocks here. I always like to have nature material, whether it's rocks, twigs, sticks, you name it. Just think it looks nice. Also, oh my gosh, be careful. You cannot break another one of these. I just talked about why. Not that like need to explain. I think we all understand why you're not supposed to just be like running around breaking stuff. I have the type of personality where when I'm working with something like rocks, I can do that for like it a pretty ridiculous amount of time. If I ever like rescape my aquariums, it's you can never just move one rock. It turns into like a full day project. So I went ahead and just kind of threw them in here. As I get going with these terrariums and the Terrarium Tuesdays, each video I want to go a little bit more in depth with different aspects with decor, uh, soil quality, root growth, and those sorts of things. So the other one was just kind of like a start off point to the charcoal and the pumice and then I'll move on to so you'll see i don't need to explain it and then of course i'll have to talk much more in depth about moss i just went out in my backyard and collected moss i'm not sanitizing it or anything i gave it a bit of a swish in some reverse osmosis water i only specify that because that doesn't have any chlorine in it 
Uh, main thing is if when you rinse it out to make sure that the water you're using isn't too harsh on it, not too hot, not too cold. Ideally, it doesn't have a lot of chlorine in it um, or fluoride, whatever your system uses. Love moss. Sometimes it's a little bit more tricky. There's an abundance of this stuff around my yard this time of year, so I went ahead and I gathered way, way, way more than I need. I'll have to like set up a container to grow the moss in, but for now, I'm just putting little, little shit. You get it. You're here. Can be tricky sometimes. Having a nice blanket of moss in and around everything just brightens things up, makes things pop, and I mean, it just looks nice, really, aesthetically. There's something very tranquil and peaceful about it. Yeah, moss makes everything better. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? I've even, I've already brought it inside. I still need to get in here and clean the glass up a little bit. That's the only downside to having these, whatever this is, in this odd shape. So typically, you know, you just take a spray bottle, sorry about the noise, and wash that all down, but I don't have anything that I can really get in there with. Not right now, anyways, not that I can think of. But there's enough moisture in here that I'm not really too worried about it. I, mean, I have a mister here, but it's kind of broken. These fancy ones, they always break on me. And can already see that the drainage is working well. There's water going down in there, but it's not too much. It's not going up and mixing into the soil, so everything is good put the lid back on there. I had debated leaving it off. I even mentioned leaving it off, but I think that with the moss being freshly harvested, I should probably keep as much moisture in there as I can. You also may notice, sorry, I keep giggling because my parrots are being dorks in the background, but uh, I, I did leave the crispy leaves, most of them, on that syngonium. I pulled some off and I went ahead and I dropped it in the soil mix and on top of it because that will break down and provide nutrients and whatnot for everything that's in there so i don't really mind having those little crispy leaves in there as they brown up and new foliage flushes out i'll just pluck them and drop them down on the bottom and the only problem with these being on these stems right here is i can't put a heat mat under them i do like to use these little heat strips for things because this counter gets really cold. It kind of juts out over things. There's nothing underneath this, it's just air. So in the winter it gets chilly, which by the way, dumb design for something that you're gonna call a garden window, right? That was stupid. But I do, I like having this big window. It is nice, but there's that cold aspect. I'm actually kind of wondering that since it's raised up on that little stem, if maybe that won't even be as much of an issue. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. It doesn't get like frigid, but you know, I would say this is probably 65 degrees, which isn't ideal for growing plants at all, not one bit, but since it's going to be air temperature right here, that might be okay, although this window is old and drafty. I don't know. We'll see. I'm planning to do this whole Terrarium Tuesday thing for several weeks. It'll stop probably right around the start of spring. And I want the end of it to be sort of like a roundup. I want to pre-film and get these things done. And then they will have had like roughly six to eight weeks to grow and see what happened with them. Thought that might be a good way to end things. I have some tongs somewhere, some little tongs that I could put a little piece of paper towel on to clean that soil off the sides. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for those. So that's what I would typically do. And if I'm going to be making more of these, I'm going to need to find that. Because that, the dirty sides, that is going to bother me. I just don't fuss with it too much until I know that things are watered in and whatnot, because there can be splatter when you move these things around. So I thought, you know, we'll just go with it for now. Especially since this is a vlog, I can keep it a little bit more casual. Y'all know how things go. But I'm very happy with how things came out. I think it was a good call not using the pink syngonium in here, especially because the rocks that I wanted to use, you, I mean, see them? <laughs> They're kind of the same color, so there wouldn't have been quite the contrast that I would have wanted with everything, so... That worked out well. And I have all these super pixies, which I love. I looked so long to find these super dwarf pixie syngoniums. And now that I have them, I want to get them planted up because I want to like have a factory of them. Keep being able to grow them and multiply them and divide them. Just because they're cute. They're just adorable. They don't get big. I'm even probably going to plant one up in one of these little guys right here. I think that's going to look neat. So yeah, Th that's done. Um, I had an oopsie. It's the day this vlog comes out and guess what? I lost like half the footage. Oops. Didn't lose it. I deleted it. I, uh, f the computer 
crashed and I normally don't delete any vlog footage ever until after the vlog is up and I know that everything's okay. And I actually, I deleted things off my memory card to make room for some other videos that I'm doing. And I just, I shouldn't, should not have done that. Sometimes when I'm editing, the computer just turns off. You know, it's a year old, so it's basically prehistoric. Not really, that computer is just a piece of trash. It's never worked right. There are some thirsty plants over here, so I'm going to give them a drink. It just amazes me how when you're growing things inside, things grow from doing well to just like, oh my god, I'm dying. Out of absolutely nowhere, because I've been staying on top of water and... At least these I've been staying on. I mean, I stay on top of watering everything. But the edibles, they need lots of water. There's the poblano update, by the way. Look at them. They're getting so big and shiny and kind of wonky looking, too. That's all right. I don't mind that. I didn't even think that they would grow, so fine with me. Frankie's done a lot of growing, too. Look at how big that Frankie Fatonia is getting. I would like to put that in a terrarium. The foliage is so freaking pretty on there. Yeah, you know, I'm at least happy that the terrarium stuff, I didn't lose any of the terrarium footage. I wish I could say, oh no, I lost such valuable footage, but really, it's vlog stuff. I like ran to the grocery store, talked about the bad weather, which it turned out no bad weather. I mean, it's gonna get cold, but we didn't end up getting the ice storm. I did pull my mule palms in. Just to be safe, it's going to drop to 17 Fahrenheit tonight, and then 9 Fahrenheit, and then like 12, so those will be inside for a few days. But mostly I'm just happy to have the terrarium, that terrarium started and done. I did notice when I was doing that that there's just something about the shape on these that really lends themselves to making me want to have a slope inside of them or have a mound in the middle. I think that would look really cool. I had to stop myself from doing that with the one that y'all just saw because that's not what I had discussed in the original video and that was just supposed to be a takeoff from that one but since I have this broken one here um, I have put a little bit of super glue around the cracks that are running up the sides because you know that'll keep spreading and growing I think I'll need to do a little bit more and then get that piece of glass put back in here with some nice clear tape over it I might even just do like a whole entire silicone rub and try and bond that back together the glass on this is very thin and sharp so I probably won't be able to do too much with it but I was thinking since it has that hole in the back and it's still perfectly good this is a there's nothing wrong with it well there is there's a giant gaping hole in the back there that's really sharp and dangerous but I that can be fixed kind of my point being since that side of everything's not going to look very good that this might be a good candidate to do something with a nice slope in it and that slope could go up and kind of cover that so I can still play around with it. That, that I, that everything works out, right? So yes, this one broke. I had to go to Home Goods and get a new one and a cute little elephant. And but now I have another one where I can do that slopey thing with. And I might just like put moss on it and some sticks. It may not even plant anything in it. I don't know yet. Lots of possibilities. Also, it was hard for me to not put that cactus inside that other one just to just to play with everybody, because I know there would have been some comments about it that would have been really entertaining, but I didn't do it. I tried my best to restrain myself. Okay, so shorter vlog, sorry about that. It's not, like I said, it was maybe like five minutes of footage got deleted, so it wasn't gonna be a very long video anyways, but like I said, I'm happy to have gotten done what I got done, get some plant things going on. There's some nice growth going on over here. There's some flat. No, that's not new. That's been there. There was a flower. Yeah, see that bud coming up back there on that anthyrum? Looking very pretty. They seem to be happy. The Australian tree fern has put out more foliage and it's making things kind of shady over here. So I'm going to have to figure something out with that. That was something I had worried about a little bit with the Australian tree fern was that they have such an incredible incredibly wide canopy that I, d I don't realistically have space for it. It's not like a palm tree where I can just tie the foliage up. I don't think it would appreciate that, but I mean, hey, it's a challenge and I I'll accept it. I think that it's not that big of a deal. I can figure something out. I have some other lights maybe that I can just put on some stakes for this area or just move these plants all together and just move some like shade loving plants over here. That could work too. I'll play around with it. And I mean, it looks really cool sitting over here at this desk and then having that lush canopy right there. It looks really neat. Even more impressive in person, especially when the misters go off and 
things get like the little dew drops on them. It's so pretty. It's very tranquil and relaxing. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna say goodbye because I gotta fix the video. <laughs> Oops. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, great life, and everything's just going beautifully for you. There's still paper shreds in there from the way they packed this thing up. It was a mess, just full, full, full of shredded paper. Same as the social media, it's all linked down below. I'm fairly active on Instagram and that, well, that's about it. Pretty much just Instagram and YouTube. I do have the others, I'm just bad about using them. Okay, like I said, I hope everybody's doing well. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.